Hello and welcome. In this video, we will take a closer look at the range of alarm improvements that iFix Productivity Tools brings to iFix. Using this iFix sample system, upgraded with the iFix Productivity Tools, we can see that you can achieve faster and more robust operations under pressure. This picture shows a water facility consisting of two tanks and various pumps. We can see that as the simulated tank level rises and falls, the tanks are entering an alarm state. Here we have incorporated an alarms list as a banner at the bottom of the picture. But we can also view a dedicated alarms list. From up here in the menu, along with common alarm management options. So, we can easily acknowledge an individual alarm by clicking on the screen object to open its operations dialog. If I go down to the list banner here at the bottom of the picture, I can switch the list mode to events and we can see that my operator action to acknowledge this alarm has been recorded in the events list. As you will see throughout this demo, the management of alarms with productivity tools is more precise and deliberate while also efficient and intuitive for the operator. This robust approach places greater emphasis on safety, helping to ensure that acknowledging an alarm is a deliberate operator action. For example, if I want to acknowledge all of the alarms on this picture, I can simply right click to open the new task menu, which is also provided by Productivity Tools, and use the Acknowledge Picture option. I can then switch to the main events list, and here we can see that this action has been recorded in the events list. I can achieve the same operation from the alarms drop down menu. Another way that I can acknowledge alarms on this picture is through the alarm summary list at the bottom of the picture. You can see that this list is filtered to only show the alarms for the iFix underscore H2O devices on this picture. By right clicking on a row in this list, I can acknowledge a single alarm. If I hold down the control key on my keyboard, I can select multiple alarms and acknowledge them with a right click option. Again, if we switch to the events list, here we can see the record of these alarm acknowledgements. And of course, with a right click on the alarm summary list, I can also acknowledge all of the current alarms in this list. So let's look a little more closely at the alarms list as this is an invaluable tool for alarm management. Ease of use features in the enhanced alarms list and indeed any type of productivity tools list include the ability to change the type of list. Quick alphabetic sort of any column. Quick filters for location or device. And I can also filter alarms by acknowledgement. Advanced multi parameter filters. I can drag and drop columns and change their widths and positions as desired. And I also have the ability to print or export in CSV or XML format all data from any list. These intuitive and easy to use features greatly assist operators to identify and manage critical alarms faster and more efficiently. 
Operators can also be given the power to manage false or distracting alarms and thus improve both productivity and help alleviate alarm flooding. These powers include the ability to dynamically adjust alarm limits on the fly, silence or disable the alarm horn, or disable alarms entirely for a temporary period of time. This dynamic alarm management comes without loss of system integrity. Alarm limit changes are recorded in the events list, making them easy to review, reverse and report on at any time. And a convenient disabled alarms list means that it's easy to review and remove alarm restrictions even when multiple operators are involved. Let's look at the ability to change alarm limits on the fly. Here I am changing the alarm limit for this device. This process requires the operator record a reason for the change. Again, this helps operators work together and collaborate and means that even after someone has gone home for the day, the next shift can identify devices with unusual alarm conditions. Let's disable an alarm. This process also prompts the operator to record a reason for disabling the alarm. This change can be seen here in the disabled alarms list. The disabled alarms list makes it quick and easy to review, undo and report on all of the disabled alarms in the system. Of course, failure to reinstate normal alarm processing once a faulty or disruptive alarm is removed this can lead to missing critical process events in the future. The ability for operators to easily see and report on all disabled alarms is a simple but effective tool that helps maintain system integrity and the overall quality of operations. In summary, the improvements to iFix alarm management are flexible and ensure consistent delivery. You can add alarms to any of your iFix pictures you can make them any size, you can filter them so they are system-wide or pre-filtered for a particular location or device. You can easily create an alarm banner, as we have seen, to readily display the top number of alarms for any picture. You can add alarm commands and navigation to the main menu so that it is always available in the same way iFix Productivity Tools is available now for iFix versions 5.8 and later and is available through your GE Global Care Maintenance. Thank you very much for your attention.